Hello and welcome to another episode of Herbal History. In this episode, we'll cover free medical plants used in ancient times as sedatives and pain relievers. These will include mandrakes, belladonna, and hendane. We'll start with the history of mandrake or mandragora officiarum. This plant belongs to the Solanaceae family. Mandragoras were historically used for their sedative qualities, which were found in the tropane-based chemicals found in this plant, which were used as sedatives, pain relief agents, and a means to stop spasms. The most common chemical and the active ingredient used by people who consume mandragoras was a chemical called hyrosine, which causes anesthetic effects in low doses and memory loss and central nervous system damage in high doses. The word mandragoras is derived from either the Persian word medrum gija, which means plant in Persian, or the Sumerian word namtar agar, which means demon plants of the fields. The English word mandrake comes from the words man, due to the fact that the root looks like a little human, sometimes, and drake, which refers to dragon due to the weird and wild properties of this plant. In ancient Greece and Rome, mandrakes were commonly consumed as a means of controlling pain, and they also knew enough of these would cause unconsciousness in patients. Pliny the Elder used it for such a purpose in his patients. Pliny and his predecessor, Zeophrastus, came up with the strategies to safely extract juice from the mandrake. Pliny stated that although the juice of the mandrake is poisonous, it can be used in low doses as a narcotic and pain relief agent prior to surgery. Pliny also said that it could be used to treat snake bites or be used to induce vomiting or as a treatment for eye diseases. Now once again, this is a history of medicine plants, not a doctor's manual. I am not a doctor. There are safer medications than mandrake now available. Do not use this plant. But I digress. In later years, Dioscordus, a naturalist and surgeon to the armies of Nero, described the use of mandrake as a means of obtaining a hypnotic state for use in surgery. But the frequent application of this medicine was not used due to the risk of overdose and death. A later Roman philosopher described in this book Herbarium that with the use of mandrake to remove a person's limb but they won't feel anything because they are in a deep sleep. The ancient Romans often sacrificed something to the mandrake before pulling it because due to its uh, human-esque appearance it is believed that it was alive in the sense of having a human soul and pulling up one of these plants was akin to murder. It was later believed that the shrieks and moans of the mandrake would appear after pulling up that plant. And these shrieks and moans may be lethal or maddening in nature. Since then, many famous doctors throughout history, as well as herbalists, describe the use and dangers of this plant, often making a potion using wine and mandrake to make this painkiller. Now on to another plant used for painkilling, hendane. Now we're going to talk about Hyoscyamus niger, also known as the Hendane. This plant is another member of the Solnaceae family. The name of this plant is derived from the word Hyce, which means hog, and Kaimos, which means bean, both being Greek words. So translating into English, this word means hog bean. The roots of this plant are used to produce many different alkaloids, but also produces two common anti-pain chemicals, hyoscine and morphine. This rendered this plant popular during the Middle Ages in England as an anesthetic. Due to the high levels of morphine within this plant, it was often compared to poppies, which were used by the Greeks as a painkiller as well. According to Pliny, henbane was one of the most important plants from the nightshade family, or Solanaceae family, and has really good sedative properties. 
but can also cause curious emotions and hallucinations, and it's dangerous in high doses. Its properties were well known to the Greeks and the ancient Romans as well. According to the Roman philosopher Celsius, the effects of this plant could be increased by combining with extracts from the opium poppy. He also mentioned a potion made from a mixture of opium seed, henbane seed, mandrake juice, and wine could be used to make a very strong painkiller. Most Byzantine recipes for painkillers were usually a mixture of henbane and opium. Now once again, do not do this, this is a bad idea. The next herb you'll talk about is used primarily for poisons, as well as medicine. So this should give you an idea not to use this as a medicine plant. Remember, this is a history channel, not a medicine channel. So without further ado, onto Belladonna, or Deadly Nightshade. Now onto Atropos Belladonna, also known as Belladonna, or Deadly Nightshade. This is yet another Solanaceae plant, with purplish red flowers and black berries. This plant, like Datura, has atropine, an active alkaloid found in both species. This plant likewise has hyoscine, another anesthetic. It was commonly used by physicians to produce a sleeping drug as well for surgery, in much the same way mandrakes and henbane was used. But the poisoners of the Middle Ages frequently used Dilly Nightshade to cause obscure and often prolonged poisoning. It's for this reason that the founder of the modern taxonomic system, Dr. Linnaeus, was prompted to name this genus Atropos after the oldest of the three Greek fates, who had the ability to end the life of anybody who she wanted, and had control over a river that removed the memory from whoever drank from it. Well that about covers everything, thank you for watching, and see you on the next one.